Hey, this is Soleil from Just Soleil. Um, so I'm just going to tell you about my weekend a little. It was um, a good weekend, kind of hard. Uh, lately, that's the way it's been. Hi. So my hysterectomy surgery is in less than two weeks. Um, today, Zach's mom and my mom and dad are both coming over to help us get ready. Not sure what the plan is yet, but I think my mom wants to move some furniture. I know we need to get some groceries. Um, I think Zach is going to work on the deck. We have a couple friends coming over later this afternoon to help with that. So, yeah, hopefully today we'll be doing good and getting ready. I don't know how much help I'm going to be today just because I um, had a really rough night last night. I was in so much pain. I missed my evening meds. I didn't remember to take them until like 3 a.m. And I normally am supposed to take them at uh, like 7 or 8 p.m. And I don't even know. I was just in so much pain and I couldn't fall asleep and I completely forgot. Um, and then I remembered and I was like, I'm not sleeping. And so I took them then and I was using the hot pack the whole time for hours trying to fall asleep. Me and Zach took a bath, um, probably around 10 o'clock and thought I'd fall asleep right after that because I was tired, but nope, just tossing and turning and in pain. Um, and then I, around the same time, 3, 4 a.m., thought, well, maybe I'll eat. Maybe that'll help because I was having so much pain. I've been bleeding for three weeks, so the endometriosis pain in my abdomen and my lower back was really bad, and I thought, well, maybe if I eat something, that'll help. Um, so I had a protein drink and an egg, a hard-boiled egg, and then I realized that I take my levothyroxine in an hour or so, and I'm not supposed to eat. So it was just a rough, confusing night, and I didn't fall asleep till you know, after 4 a.m., and now it's 10 a.m., I've been up probably for half an hour, an hour, and so it's just been rough, and I don't know how much I'm gonna help today, but I'm gonna do what I can. Hi, so it's Monday morning. I had a rough night, was in a lot of pain, and from the endometriosis, abdominal pain, um, in my abdomen and my lower back. Uh, now I have been trying to get up, I've just been so groggy and exhausted. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get ready for work here. Made it to the bathroom, <laughs> just kind of waiting to get some energy to finish showering and getting ready and then gonna get off to work, get a few hours in and then come home and hopefully try and get something done before just falling asleep. So, yep, just keeping positive. Sometimes it gets hard when I know that I need to get to work and my body's just not cooperating with me, but I'm doing the best that I can. So, thinking back, I think Friday I was pretty tired, wiped out, rested. Saturday, um, my parents and my mother-in-law both came over, helped get ready for my hysterectomy surgery um, in about a week and a half. So they uh, cleaned the house, vacuumed, wet vacked, um, and moved furniture around, created a safe space for myself away from the dogs. They're playing right now, if you can hear them in the background. Um, I actually did do a little bit of training about 15 minutes or half an hour with the dog Saturday morning before my parents got here. I just laid in bed and had them hop up on the bed and train next to me. So that's one way that I'm able to, you know, do something when I'm still not feeling good. Instead of standing up and doing um, more traditional training, I do training in bed. Um, but it was fun, yeah. And I was pretty much in bed most of the time while, um, our parents were here helping out, then I kind of got up and helped my parents a little bit. You know, they were wondering where to put stuff. Uh, you can see here, um, we have the shelf here, bed, 
Um, we brought some laundry down, so just totally cleaned this room up. This is our half of our living room, actually. So one of Zach's co-workers, really nice guy, one of our neighbors, he donated us this queen-size bed. So that's where I am going to be sleeping after my surgery. And then he also gave us this um, cabinet bookshelf, and we're going to put my clothes on there just so that everything's here on the main floor and I don't have to struggle so much or worry about getting upstairs. Rosie! Rosie came in. She's not supposed to be in here. Out! Rosie, out! Out! Okay. So yeah, we just have, um, you can see here, we just have a uh, coffee table right now blocking off to keep the dogs out. Um, we are getting a gate for them from, that I ordered off Amazon. It was supposed to be here um, Thursday or Friday, but it got lost or delayed in the mail, so now it's supposed to be coming today. So we're just kind of making do without. Um, so let me think. So they were here most of Saturday. Helped a lot. Uh, Janice, Zach's mom, she made soup and helped clean the kitchen. Uh, I think she raked some outside with the fall leaves. And Zach worked on the deck, uh, cutting some boards for the decking. And then, um, trying to think. Then um, my parents left in the afternoon, probably four ish, maybe. I'm not sure. And then I fell asleep on the couch, so did Zach, he fell asleep upstairs, he was trying to um, do some work on his computer and fell asleep. And we had a friend who was coming over, so um, he got here a little after that, we got up slowly, I um, managed to take a shower, then we went to Walmart to get some, or no, we went to Aldi and got um, ingredients for smoothies, dogs again. Um, and so it was kind of a lot for me actually, even with the nap, um, or a couple naps that I took. And then we watched movies and stayed up late. Uh, Sunday, my dad came over in the morning. Uh, Zach and our friend worked on the deck and me and my dad went to Menards and picked out a um, new door for our um, entrance onto the deck. And so we're getting French doors with blinds built into them and that'll be really nice. Hopefully that'll come next weekend because my dad wanted to install it before my surgery. Um, and so that was kind of, you know, again, quite a bit of walking. And then after that, um, sat around with the guys while they worked on the deck and then me and Zach went to my little sister's play, Tarzan. It was really, really, really good. Um, one of the best plays I'd seen in a while. It was a lot of fun. Rosie, out! And then, um, then we stopped by my parents' house to visit my cousin, but she was asleep. And Zach ate dinner with my parents. I was just could barely move, laid down on the couch, was kind of nauseous, so I really didn't eat. Um, they wanted to have some sparkling juice, but I was like, no, can't, I can't do that. Uh, so then we went home, and Zach um, had to help me get my clothes off. I was in so much pain, I just sat down in the kitchen. He helped me um, get my boots off, and actually my ankle sort of popped out of place when he was pulling on my shoe because he didn't unlace it all the way. So that ended up hurting all night. Um, finished helping me get into bed and then I put the hot pack on and I was just in so much pain in my abdomen and my back. Um, and he had to help get me water and medicine, things like that, and then went to sleep. And so now it's Monday and just getting ready for work and hopefully um you know hopefully it'll be a good week hopefully i'll feel a bit better but things are just sort of moving slowly i'm achy and sore and headachey and just trying not to overdo it so talk to you later